Hello, in this video we will outline the steps to configure DHCP or static IP settings on your Canon device. This video applies to the Gen 3 or current generation Canon copier. For this video we will use a remote operation viewer kit to show you the steps on the control panel. However, the steps are the exact same menus that you would select on your device. So let's get started. Once you have the control panel in front of you, select settings registration, select login. The default login username will be administrator and the default password will be 7654321. So you can enter that on the on-screen keyboard or on the control panel itself. Select OK, select login, select device settings, select preferences, select network, select TCP IP settings, select IPv4 settings, select IP address settings, and from here you have a selection for DHCP. This device currently has DHCP on because it's highlighted orange. However, if you select it, it will unhighlight and therefore there's a static IP address. Select the clear button and enter on the keypad. So we want it to be 192.168.1.25. As you can see there, now it's correct. 192.168.1.25. But again, you can arrow back, you can backspace, or you can select clear on the control panel. Once you have your IP address set, confirm your subnet gateway and select OK. From here, you want to go up a level and you want to make adjustments to DNS if required. So select DNS server address settings and enter your primary and your secondary DNS server. Select OK to confirm your settings. Select Close. You're back at the main menu now. Once you make a network change, you must reboot the copier for the changes to take effect. So whether you set it to DHCP or not, or whether you change the IP address or not, any changes in the network settings will require a reboot. This concludes our video. Thank you. <music>